Hi everybody, I'm Maggie. This is Cycle 1, Week 11 Geography, and we are headed over to the Byzantine Empire, which includes Constantinople, Rome, Athens, Ephesus, and Antioch. What's great um, about this week is they are all dots, and they're all on the map, so it makes it really easy to find the locations on the map, and we are flipping back from where we were to this side of the map. So everything's a little bit bigger, so it's a little bit easier to see, but... <clears throat> This tune we are going to use to remember these areas is to the tune of Jingle Bells, and it goes something like this. Byzantine Empire, Constantinople, Rome, Athens, Ephesus, and Antioch. Hey! Byzantine Empire, Constantinople, Rome, Athens, Ephesus, and Antioch. So finding all the locations again, you can talk about the other areas that you've learned from previous weeks, talking about Greece, um, Italy's boot. We haven't talked about Italy, but looking kind of at the boot there to be able to find Rome. And again, all these areas are represented on the, the black line map with dots. So it just is a, makes it a little bit easier because you're not finding kind of general areas and blob mapping. How do we talk about this in class? Well, folks, we use a um, passport. It's great because it has maps. It also has all the words. The kids can see where we've been, where we're going, and where we are currently at this week. We also love using Louisiana Jones and her fabulous story. We've been following her now for 11 weeks. She's gone some quite a few adventures at this point. If you haven't used this before, I highly recommend checking it out. You can get this on CC Connected. I'll post the link for you below. But they use some incredible context clues. They use fun ways and words to pronounce the different um, areas, especially words that might be a little bit trickier for some. So it's just a great way to remember it. What I like to do specifically in my class is I will say the locations, we will find them on our map, and then I'll have everybody put their markers down and I'll read the story. And I like to read the story in a fun, silly voice. And as we get to these different locations, I might pause depending on how things are going in the story, but we'll have them point to the places that she's talking about or visiting on the map. If the story is one that is really energetic that week, then we'll get through the whole story and then we'll go back and revisit the areas and then I'll have it point to them, have them point to it on the map. So that's one way we do it. I also like to use poems and little drawings. This I tend to do more for my kiddos at home than for a community, but just if you're finding that Louisiana Jones doesn't work for your group, maybe the short poems will work better. I also like to use for when we are pointing things out specifically during review, not necessarily during new grammar, silly fingers, mini hands, pointers. You can find all these different types of things either at your local dollar store, the target dollar bins, um, everywhere. So they're just fun ways to kind of point to the different locations you are visiting on the map. The other thing that we like to do recently is using the flashcards from um, CC's website. I like to just leave these in my purse and be able to just kind of rattle them off while we're driving along with the CC app. We also really have been enjoying um, in community, I will take these um, flashcards, I'll post them below, and they are um, cardstock with printer paper behind them, but they are light revealing cards. So I'll take all the weeks that we are up to so from right now, it would be weeks one through or seven, whatever the last seven weeks are. But for the purposes of this, weeks one through 11, they'll have them in the center of the room or center of, of where they're all sitting. They'll pull one out. They'll have to tell me, tell me about Japan. And then we will flash the light to see if they're right. Sometimes I'll kind of, we'll all sit under the table. So it's really dark and just a fun way to see these cards and just have fun with it. Again, something silly and something different. We also have been playing Kaboom at home and kaboom basically is just a game of popsicle sticks i write the different um, memory master prompts for geography so tell me about japan tell me about uh, the byzantine empire and then in addition to writing those on these popsicle sticks i also have several popsicle sticks that say kaboom and so my kiddos at home will have to pick out a, um, a popsicle stick it'll say tell me about the byzantine empire they will repeat the song and if they get it correct they get to keep the popsicle stick we go around and around and around if somebody gets it wrong at home anyway i'll have the kiddos put it back if they get it right they get to keep the stick if they get kaboom which kind of looks like see if i can find a kaboom for you if they get kaboom which looks like this they have to put all their sticks back and what's nice about this especially at home 
um, is that we review the stuff over and over and over again. So they're getting a lot of practice memorizing the different areas. Um, and so especially some of those tricky ones, we're practicing and hearing it over and over and over again. Now, again, if you have memory master kiddos and you're not just needing to memorize this, you can still play this game, but you can add a little twist. So they, it'll make it go a little slower. This is a really fast game, um, but but you can still do it. So you'll pull out your popsicle stick. It'll have, tell me about the Byzantine empire. And then you can have the maps right near them and they have to point to the locations of where the Byzantine empire is as they say the song. So that's what we're doing this week for geography. I hope it helps and we will see you next week.